Well guys, today's the day. We are taking the old Loransky off and putting on the almond bird. So, got the kayak, got a big green out here helping me. And we're gonna get this uh, transducer mounted and the grafticles and stuff and all that juicy stuff. And uh, yep. Stay tuned. Some wire action. Way through getting the transducer mounted and the drill died so I'm gonna have to come back out here in about an hour or so but so this is the main setup we got going right here we got this uh, transducer mount flips down twist and tighten it up so you got that transducer right here and then you extendo the transducer so it's down in the water should be good. Ready to roll. So that's gonna be on the hummingbird transducer. It's gonna come back to here. Still need to drill to mount that to there. Have this old hummingbird on there. Got the battery situation figured out. I rigged that up pretty well so it's not gonna pull on those wires too much. I'm just gonna sit on this battery and this battery's gonna sit right here. And yeah, it's uh It'll be a pretty cool setup. So stay tuned for the rest of this install on the Hummingbird GI GPS or DI GPS, something like that. Yeah, DI GPS. But thanks for watching. All right, guys. So we finally finished the setup and install of the Helix Five. So we got this battery contraption back here hooked up to the battery, then that cable runs to the ram mount and so we got the hummingbird loaded up telling me I'm in 75 foot of water in my backyard but hopefully it'll work better it's the helix 5 with the GPS and down imaging then it runs on this cable up on here to this little uh, transducer mount we got so you, you can crank this up push it up there lock it into place and be good to go to ride and keep it out from hitting stuff on the bottom. Taped it up with some zip tape. Got it all good to go. Lindsay helped me finish tape it up. And uh, yeah, so that's the kayak. Everything's in, new and improved. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. And uh, hopefully next time I'm catching fish and not dropping parts of my reels in the water. Have a good day. All right, guys, we're rolling out here on Chatoog. Had to wait because there's a tournament, so we had to wait on blast off so we didn't get capsized. But we're rolling with the old double rig again today. Rolling with the trolling motor. Trolling motor's staying good. We're staying dry so far. So uh, just gonna roll through, try to catch some fish. We're gonna go check out a couple points and a couple schools of bait we know about and uh, see what happens. You ready to catch some fish, Ian? I'm ready. Let's do it. Slack as hell. Oh, 
nice fish. Spot. <laughs> Off the disco fluke. Good deal. <laughs> He might have it. Man, he had it for a while. That was cool, man. <laughs> Fluke in action, man. Decent oh, spider. he's got some bait in his throat. Check it out. What the heck is that? There he is. That's crazy. Nice little spot. What a shot, man. He's on the He's on the That's crazy. All right, see you, buddy. That was cool. Skunk is out of half of the boat. <laughs> He's running towards me. He's running. Oh. Dude, that's a fat spot. Shoo! <laughs> uh, PB spot? <laughs> Check out that chunky guy. Chunky little fella. Chunky, 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 chunky. Can't beat a fluke, boys and girls. Can't beat a fluke. See you, buddy. All right, guys, it's about two o'clock. We are getting off the water. Uh, it's been a pretty tough day. Ended up catching three spots. Um, Ian, how many did you catch? I caught a goose. Hey, it, it was a tough day. We had a tough time out here on Chatug. Good day to get out. Better than day at school, I guess. <laughs> um, but we're rolling back to the house. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep watching. We're putting out some more content very soon. And thank you guys so much. Have a good one.